Greetings. Back once again with Dr. Eileen Bay from the Hillowing Institute. If you want to learn more about the Hillowing Institute, you can go to our website, www.drlemelbay.com. That's www.drlemelbay.com. Today, we're going to go into the science of breath and teach you the Dantian breathing technique from the Qigong exercises in which that we teach at our institute. The key to using Dantian breathing is to help heal yourself, is to inhale gently all the way down into your lower Dantian. Your Dantian is your navel chakra. This is where you will store prana or chi or ki energy at in your body to produce longevity a long healthy life is about an inch or two right below your navel chakra as it expands as you inhale you pay your attention or place your attention on your lower dantian and you will sense your breath energy filling in your lower abdomen area Feel yourself, your abdominal area, as it naturally expands. If you like, you can actually take your hands and place over your belly. You can also see the belly breathing exercise in which that we have taught at our institute. What this helps you do is to draw and attract the breath and your consciousness there. For the man, it is left over right for the woman it is right over left as your hands are placed so you will feel your abdominal naturally expand all right so as you in exhale since any tension poisons or toxins going out with your breath as your abdominal area naturally contracts. Learn to be attentive to the vital warmth, energy, vibration of your breath that remains in your abdominal area as you exhale. Guard it with your awareness. Feel it being absorbed deep into your cells as you exhale waste products outward and out through your nose or mouth all right in other words as you exhale you want to feel toxins and poisons coming out of your body any dis-ease ailment sickness being exhaled out of your body through your mouth if you do the mouth exercise what I notice is that when you use your mouth, it helps to eliminate more toxins than just breathing through your nose. All right. So do not use any force or effort in doing this practice. Use only your awareness and your intentions. All right. This is what you want to do. So we notice that when you study the science of breath, that scientists states that 70% of the waste produced in the body is supposed to be eliminated via your lungs. 20% your skin, 10% urination and defecation. If you're constipated, you have more toxins stored up in the body. Therefore, this breath technique is necessary for you to use with the mouth. All right, now, there's certain herbs that you can take in order to help eliminate that ailment, such as fenugreek, senna, marshmallow root, slippery elm, as well as also kasagara. These are some of the laxative herbs that can be utilized in order to eliminate the constipation, in order to help your body eliminate toxins. You can also use enemas. You can also take in sea salt water, 
early in the mornings to flush out your bodily system. The sea salt on which that we would utilize or recommend is Himalayan black sea salt or Himalayan pink sea salt. All right, just about a pinch or two in your um, morning water. Upon rising, you should go immediately and get a glass of water to flush out the toxins and poisons from your nightly rest and to help activate, reactivate um, your organs and endocrine glands um, in the morning upon awakening. All right, these are things that you should practice on a daily basis. All right, so let's go into the technique. What's called deep abdominal breathing or Dantian breathing. You want to stand or sit in the chair with your spine straight and bring both hands over your lower abdomen if you need that as far as your attention you will breathe in and out through your nose or mouth depending on the situation you will inhale and visualize a golden ball of energy like a small sun growing in your lower dantian or navel chakra as it expands one to two inches down be below your navel and as you exhale visualize the golden ball intensifying its glow with each breath see it see this light growing brighter and brighter starting out you can do 36 times inhale and exhale you can practice um, as you get better for at least three to five minutes ten minutes is ideal Throughout the day, you would take one or two Dantian breaths to recharge your internal energy. Remember, this technique is for longevity, for eliminating disease, for increasing internal energy, power, force, so that you can be a force to be reckoned with. So, back and straight. Tongue is up behind the two front teeth at the upper palate you will pull up your anal muscles and perineum as you inhale and we can actually do what is called the 6363 which is the pranic breath you'll breathe in for a count of six hold it for three breathe out for six hold it for three and during the time of you breathing in you'll send the energy down into your lower dantian Leave it there for three seconds as your concentration of energy or your intention, your awareness, your consciousness is rested there at the lower Dantian. And then upon exhaling, you will feel that sun growing brighter and brighter in its intensity right there at the navel. So, let's begin. Okay, that's with the mouth closed. Now let's do it with the mouth open. Okay, once again, the one with the mouth open is good in order to eliminate toxins, especially if the individual is not going to the bathroom and defecating as much as they need to be. If you eat three times a day, you need to poop at least three times a day or more. So therefore, um, if that is not happening, um, give a good example. If the defecation is not floating, then you do not, um, then you do not have enough fiber in your system. If it is floating, then you do have enough fiber. All right, if the urination um, it's causing foam within the water as it hits, then that means that you have a disposition towards diabetes. Your pancreas is acting up and it's not enough insulin, so you need dandelion and milk thistle. If the water just having small bubbles, um, like when you blow out um, 
a bubble as such and it looks like that in the water then your pee is alkaline your urine is alkaline all right so these are just some of the things that you need to check for all right uh, once again Healer Wings Institute you can reach me at 910-364-9099 Dr. Alain Bay as well as also you can go to our website which has much 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 information there which is www.drlimelbay.com once again that's www.drlimelbay.com check us out there all right until next time peace and blessings or as we say peace and bliss